Hello, I'm Denise Huftalin, President of Salt Lake Community College, and welcome to our 29th Annual President's Art Show. This year, we are featuring the wonderful work of 92 extremely talented professional and amateur artists from across Utah. As you can see, the exhibition has everything from sculptures made of bronze, steel, marble, wood, 3D printed materials, Legos, and found objects, to upcycled fashion and handmade zines. Also displayed are many forms of printmaking, photography of all kinds, drawings, paintings, quilts, collages, digital art, wood burning, glass, ceramics, and a wide array of mixed media. It's lovely to see such a wide variety of works from a very diverse group of very gifted artists. So on to the awards. I wanna give special thanks to our community judge, Jill Borst, who heads the Salt Lake City office for Goldman Sachs. We know she is very busy because the Salt Lake office is the company's fourth largest in the world and employs more than 3,000 people across the Wasatch Front. So we appreciate her taking her very valuable time out of her busy schedule to support our show. I am honored to be here to present the Community Award for the 2023 Art Show. Uh, I believe the community should get five awards, ten awards, but I'm going to award one. And my selection for today is a piece called All the Things by Laura Summer. This piece evokes all the things that we love about Salt Lake City. The mountains, the sunsets, the creeks, the rivers, and she gives really special movement by using a technique called quainting quilting and painting. And when I look at the skies, when I look at her quilting and her stitching, um, it really creates movement from the top all the way down to the bottom. So congratulations, Laura, on your community award. Our next award is the Dennis Klaus Honorary Award. Dennis is SLCC's Vice President for Finance and Administration Emeritus, and he has chosen Pose Raven by Mark B. Goodson. So on to the President's Award. It's never easy for me to choose a single work to honor, and this year was no exception, but I'm delighted for that this year's show, I have selected Underwater Odyssey by our very own Richard Prazen, who has taught welding at the college for many years. I'd now like to take a moment to introduce our community judges who selected the exhibition's best in show and second and third placed winners. Many thanks to each of you for sharing your expertise with us. Essie Abusu, a local artist who has curated several exhibits for Urban Arts Gallery. Jared Stephenson, curator at the Utah Museum of Contemporary Art. And Nancy Stokes, curator at the Kimball Art Center in Park City. We chose Keep Asking by Julie Berry as the third place winner in this show. One of the reasons why we are drawn to this piece specifically is because of the use of mixed media, but also the spiritual elements that didn't center on one religion, um, but it also just spoke to the greater feeling that all of us have of, you know, trying to find a purpose in life, trying to find what we believe in, what we stand for. Um, I really, really was impressed by the use of mixed media in the piece. Um, there's a lot of different fabrics, there's a lot of paper pieces that are that make up what looks like fabrics and I found that very impressive. Um, and also I think that 
the pose that the main subject is sitting in is also a pose of meditation and I think it was just a very beautiful way to showcase that feeling that we have when we are asking for answers. For second place, we chose a work by Stacy Phillips. Uh, it's a mixed media work titled Home. Originally, I think we were all drawn in by the emotions on the faces of the figures in the painting. And as we drew closer and started to look at the work, uh, little bits of details started to reveal themselves to us. So we, we noticed the fabric. Uh, we noticed that it was collaged. We noticed there were some pieces or parts of the painting that were unfinished. And all of those lent to this, this feeling of uh, displacement or something that feels unfinished in general. And then you start to look at what those patterns and the colors and the fabric look like. And they have a Middle Eastern feel to them. So it's hard not to think about current events and think about refugees and populations that are being displaced currently. Uh, and I think for those reasons, um, we felt it was uh, worthwhile of being in the top three. For first place, we've awarded Creeping Up On Me by Alison Stosich, and we hope that we're pronouncing that correctly. Um, one of the reasons why we chose this piece is because um, it, the theme of it was anxiety, and that's a feeling that's very universal that all of us can understand and have felt at many times. Uh, one of the things that um, Alison had put in her artist statement was that we all have that feeling of bees within us, without us, whenever it comes to anxiety. But also, I thought what was really interesting was she mentioned that sometimes you forget the bees are there and you forget that they care for you, and sometimes there's a comfort in having that, which I think is a part of anxiety and mental health that a lot of times we don't talk about. Sometimes you can become so used to how it feels to have anxiety or how it feels to deal with certain mental health aspects. Um, and I thought that we thought collectively that that was such a universal experience and such an important thing to touch on. Yeah, and on top of that, we were really impressed by the technical abilities within the work, uh, knowing that it was uh, a combination of a life uh, casting, uh, along with constructing each one of the bees individually out of wax and then applying them there. Uh, and then again, the level of detail that you're able to pull out in the piece, where you can look at the, the texture in the skin and in the fingernails, and also the, the level of detail in the bees. We were also drawn in by, by those things as well. Congratulations to everyone, especially our winners. We are humbled by your remarkable talents. Thank you. The President's Art Show will run Monday through Friday from November 10th until November 27th. And for more information about the show, as well as a virtual tour, check out our website, slcc.edu slash artshow.